Hello, welcome. Uh, it was a request uh, to show how I make cool curved arrows in ChemDraw. Uh, so I thought I'd oblige and show how I make some cool curved arrows in ChemDraw. Um, so I'll show this using a mechanism. Uh, just, I'm an organic chemist, so I'll pick the hydration of an alkene. This one happens to have carbocation rearrangement. Uh, I think it'll just be a nice way to show uh, some of the nice arrows that I like to draw uh, when I draw my mechanisms. Uh, so the top uh, example here is showing the uh, standard way of drawing curved arrow notation in ChemDraw using the arrow tools um, that we all know and love, uh, or maybe not love because sometimes there are some problems with them. Uh, this is a little bit of a dramatic example, but if you have, if, if it's if you've picked the wrong um, arc angle, uh, your arrows end up looking ridiculous and maybe don't even point in the right place. Um, one of the problems that I find with using the standard arrows in ChemDraw is that really short arrows. Um, sometimes look like single barbed arrows, like single electron arrows. And I think, uh, especially with me as an organic chemistry professor, I think that can be confusing to students um, trying to determine if it's a single barbed arrow or a double barbed arrow, a single electron or double electron. Um, with things like carbocation rearrangements, sometimes there's just not enough room for the arrow to show what it's supposed to be showing. Sometimes it can be ambiguous where the arrow is starting, where the arrow is ending. Um, and there, I, I, I just don't really like the built-in arrows uh, in ChemDraw. Um, so the way that I make arrows, I'll show you using the same mechanism, um, is I use the curved, uh, the edit curve function uh, in our toolbar, toolbar in, in ChemDraw. This is the uh, way that I uh, draw all my arrows. Uh, so selecting that function, um, uh, you can, uh, with the first arrow I'll show is that I like the, the S arrows uh, with two curves in them. Um, so you can do that by uh, clicking where you want your arrow to start and where you want your arrow to end. And then if you drag the squares, you can add curvature to your arrows. And you can make nice S-curved arrows uh, using ChemDraw. Now, if you look at the arrow, it doesn't have uh, an, an arrow on the end of it. Um, so if you go back into your Edit Curve function and right-click on the end, you can add a full arrow at the end, or a half arrow if it's a single barbed arrow. And I like to make all my mechanistic arrows red. I don't know why, that's just a, uh, a thing of mine. Um, I like my arrows red. So I, I did this on purpose. My arrow is pointing to the wrong place. It should be pointing to that hydrogen. Uh, and this is very easy to fix uh, in the edit curve function. Uh, you just drag the square down to where it's supposed to be going. And you may have to readjust some of your curves, uh, but you can. Uh, it's very easy to manipulate the arrows after you've drawn them uh, to get them to look how you want them to look. So I'll just continue. Uh, the, for short arrows, I like uh, adding some extra curvature to the arrows. Uh, add that, making that arc stand out, uh, I think, helps show my students exactly where uh, arrows start and end. Um, this one could be a little bit better. Like Zooming in helps, too. Knowing that the arrow start at, starts at that bond uh, and goes to the oxygen. Carbocation rearrangement uh, is always a tricky arrow to draw, and I like using the curved arrows for this too. Uh, what I'll usually do is uh, have a little handle on my curved arrow. Uh, so you can click and drag uh, when you first start your arrow as well to add curvature this way. showing that the electrons in this arrow start at the carbon-hydrogen bond and point to the carbocation where the, the hydrogen group is, is shifting. Uh, I think that's a, a nice little arrow to, I think that makes it unambiguous where the arrow is starting and ending for the students. Um, you can also do just regular curved arrows. Uh, there's normal arcs. There's nothing wrong with, with some normal arcs and your curved arrows. Uh, another one of my favorite arrows uh, is where the electrons uh, start at a certain position. I click and drag vertically and then click and drag horizontally. Uh, I don't know why, I just like the way this arrow looks. Uh, but it's really easy to do with curved arrow notation as well for the final deprotonation of this mechanism. And then again we have a short uh, arrow and we can uh, clearly show where the uh, arrow starts and stops. Um, this does show one of the liabilities. You really have to be careful where you're putting your cursor. Uh, notice that the hand either has a plus sign or does not have a plus sign. If it has a plus sign, 
uh, and you click trying to move the, the, at, the head of this arrow uh, with the plus sign on the hand, uh, all you end up doing is drawing uh, another arrow. Uh, so you really have to be careful that there is no plus sign on the hand if you want to uh, adjust the position of the arrows. So there you have it. Those are some of my uh, favorite curved arrows and how I draw them in ChemDraw. Enjoy.